All right, I want to tie a pattern that was tied by a guy by the name of Jim Finn at mossycreek.com. It is called a golden retriever, and I'm gonna tell you what this this uh, streamer is just unreal. It's remarkable. I purchased a handful of moth the guy, and could not believe the amount of trout that would just they, they slam these things like that like they're going out of style it's a very good fly so anyway I'm gonna start tying this the thread we're gonna use is red 210 denier flat wax nylon and as you can see I have a 530 seconds gold countersink bead and 12 wraps of lead wire We're going to start off by tying right in behind here and then we're going to use this thread is actually going to be the body of this fly. When you start to come back you want to try and get really nice close tight even wraps. this tag end off the chenille we're going to be using a gold chenille Eastats gold chenille is going to be our rib body of this fly and we're going to be using tan marabou for the tail I'm going to grab a clump of that and get ready and tie this in. And you don't need a whole lot about the length of the shank of the hook. Usually I'll tie anywhere between two and three turns. Where I can double check my tail and that looks good to me. <coughs> Clip that off nice and even. Then we're going to come back down through here and tighten all that up. And you want to try and keep this body as even as possible. A little piece sticking out here. I want to. <coughs> Now we're going to get a piece of the gold chenille. And you don't need much. Now I try to clean the very tip of this off. Tie this in right at the back. Well, then we're going to bring our thread all the way back to the front with nice even wraps the whole way. Right down to the bead. We're going to take the chenille now and we're going to kind of just give it a nice little turn. Oh, yep. Make sure your chenille or your marabou don't get caught up in it. Because when we're wrapping this, you want this to palmer. In between every wrap, you want to just stroke those fibers back.
Now one of my wraps got a little too close there. Now we're going to lock this down. And don't be afraid to really give some torque on that thread. Usually put two or three wraps in front. Then we're going to do two to three wraps behind. Snip your excess off. Now we're going to do a four to five turn whip finish. Snip your thread out of there. And there you have it. That's your golden retriever. Really, really good streamer. I mean, it works very well. I have never, never been left down by this pattern. And like I said, you need to check out uh, Jim Finn at mossycreek.com check the guy out it, he actually sells these there and you can actually buy the materials to make these yourself and I'd take, like to take the time to thank Jim Finn for giving me the okay to go ahead and tie this and thanks for watching this video